Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it's time for another Maple Story reboot video. I'm here on Reboki, and I wanted to go ahead and do some bosses for you guys. So this is Zakum, and uh, he is very easy to do. <laughs> He's on easy mode as well, um, because I was kind of curious on how bosses would be, just because reboot claims be a little bit more difficult and a little bit harder to get items and funded and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, so I am not funded at all. I have pretty much low level equips on and uh, easy Zakum is still very easy so that was uh, that was alright you know I just want to give a boss toss a shot and now my curiosity has been cured so last night I got to actually attend a friend's company's Christmas party up in the mountains at a small casino resort and uh, that was a lot of fun it was super fancy there was a lot of good food there was an open bar and she works for a medical company so I got to meet a lot of doctors and nurses and I was dressed up really nice and everyone was and I just felt like I was 007 I was going to go flip tables and start shooting at things but so uh, something interesting happened that I wanted to share with you guys um, I was I was there and I was getting myself a drink at the bar and let me just tell you guys I don't drink that often so I don't really know my drinks but when I go to somewhere new like a restaurant or somewhere I've never been before I usually like to get the coolest sounding thing just so I can say it to my server and it just it feels awesome saying it like for an example one time I was at a boba shop and uh, I wanted to get something called the sexy pink boot because I just wanted to say that name. I had no idea what it was, but when I said it, I just felt glorious. I just said, Sexy Pink Buddha, please. And it tasted horrible, but it was just a great name to say, you know, at the time. So, I mean, definitely 10 out of 10 would not do it again. Um, so I was at, up at this bar, and I was trying to get myself a drink. I, I don't remember what I got. I think I was trying to be really fancy because I was dressed really nice, and I thought I could just, like, say words, and she would understand what I was saying. So I said, you know, give me a Glenfiddich on the rocks. Make it a double. Shake it two and a half times and do a spin. Um, she didn't understand what I was saying but uh, yeah the drink was pretty tasty <laughs> and uh, afterwards I was talking with this doctor and um, he was telling me some really interesting things about his job and you know he was really passionate about it and it was really cool um, and then afterwards he handed me this poker chip and it was this $25 poker chip and he said you know go go have some fun and I was like oh thank you so much and I don't really play poker or that much I mean I, I like to play Texas Hold'em with my friends and family but I never really go to the casinos and play so uh, you know I was walking around the casino casinos for a bit and when I say a bit I mean like three hours with my friends co-workers I was just going around and uh, just watching people play stuff and at the end of the night I still had my $25 poker chip I was thinking well I did not spend this and I ended up just cashing it in for cash so I got $25 and I went to go buy a really unhealthy McDonald's breakfast <laughs> and it was so good and it was I felt so guilty after eating that, but it was just crazy. Like, as I was eating this unhealthy breakfast, I was thinking back to the doctor, and I was thinking, you know, that guy probably wouldn't have guessed in a million of years that I would have had spent his $25 poker chips on this unhealthy meal. Like, he probably thought I'd go to the tables and maybe go double my money or try to go gamble it and try to make some more money or lose it all or something like that. But it was just interesting because in life, you know, we unintentionally get handed these quote unquote life poker chips I guess and it's just pretty cool because like people can spend them all in different ways and when I'm talking about life poker chips I'm not talking about physical things necessarily but more like emotions and thoughts and feelings that you leave with someone like for an example when you make a comment maybe on someone's drawing and you're saying hey you're a really good artist you're, you're doing really well you know that's really cool artwork that you got there I kind of consider that as like a life poker chip maybe and it's up to them on how they spend it you know some people they can maybe like take that really personally and they're like you know what I am a really good artist and they try to quit their jobs and they try to become this fulfilling artist and you know whatever happens happens maybe they fail maybe they really succeed or they can just kind of hold on to that feeling inside hold on to that poker chip and say you know this is really cool this is a really good hobby and I want it to grow anyways ladies and gentlemen I think I've been blabbering on enough I'm sorry you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about I don't even know what I'm talking about I just like talking with you guys so I just want to give you guys that thought on these life poker chips you know, it's just really cool, I think, to think about it this way on how we're left with these poker chips that people give us, and it's kind of up to us on how we spend it and how we kind of deal with it, and it's, it's really creative and it's fun. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Deboki. Thank you so much for watching.